first enclosure I'll be making up guys. I've literally took some pieces of wood out now. So this is going to be my enclosure build. These beetles will be going soon anyway guys. Of course they are for sale on the website. But I might as well do the enclosure up now. And make it look really nice. <clears throat> but again I've got to remove everything out of it. I've got to actually remove the beetles as well. Because I'm going to be doing a lot of DIY in there. So I need to remove these four beetles. But these are absolutely phenomenal. Look how big they are. These are giant, giant beetles. Amazing and ferocious predators, to be honest. And just absolutely gorgeous. That cockroach in there is risking his life by staying there. But luckily he's not hungry. Or the he would have been gone. Then the next one after that I'll be doing is this um, red spot. The sus in enclosure. And that's one just melted there. Up there you can see a difference. So that's my next build. And my next build is going to be that one. And then I've got Phoenix in, uh, Phoenix's tank to do as well. So yeah, let's head on and do this one now. First thing to do is to remove these beetles. What I'm going to do, guys, is actually remove them from this enclosure. I'm going to grab them underneath here and then scoot them up. Perfect, they're well happy. And that roach is obviously going with them as well. I'm going to put them in this holding enclosure here at the moment, just for the time being, until we get the whole enclosure made up. That's if this idiot lets go of me. It's like, I'm not going to let go of you today. Yeah, I've got really powerful jaws. I wouldn't like to tag by him. But again, it's not going to work. It's just going to work. It's just going to be like a bike, not actually envenomate me. But they have got some really powerful jaws there. So let me put him into his enclosure and then we'll start uh, into this box and then we'll start building their enclosure back up. Let's do it now. Next thing I've got to do, guys, just remove everything out of here. So I've got to remove the leaves out of here. And I've got to remove the rocks and give the sand a nice clean because we've got a lot of um, food that I've actually at. still there. Again, you can't add spring tails to these sort of enclosures, so you haven't got a clean-up squad. So you have really got to be on top of the game and clean up the whole enclosure yourself. So let's get that done. And then the next thing after we clean, give it a nice clean. We're going to be adding bits and bobs into there and see what it looks like so let's give it a clean and i'll be back in a minute and that's literally the enclosure done up now that's quite a simple enclosure to make i've added i've cleaned the sand out took all the crap out of there i've added my skull into the middle skin someone hide underneath the one i put some nice little logs in there a plant in the back and it just looks absolutely beautiful i've gone for a desert look kind of thing with a bit of color i've also removed some of the other bits what was in there like the cocoa coconut the wood and things like that and this looks absolutely amazing in here now perfect for them to go back in there so let's add the beetles back in now and hopefully they'll like the new enclosure probably going to wreck it knowing them and um, i've got to add a water bowl as well again which i'm going to use a milk lid for that put that down there in the corner and they'll be happy days in there quite a simple enclosure mate but it looks absolutely perfect easy for them they're gonna love it until they get moved to another home and sold on absolutely beautiful it's important that they have nice enclosures you know while they're here with me it's important all right guys let's move the beetles into their enclosure and see if they actually like it they're now only here in this uh tub now it's going to open the tub try and do it with one hand which is going to be harder said than done okay that's easy I'm just going to release them into their new enclosure. Go on, go on. And let them, oops, let them have a look around. Uh oh, let go, let go, fool. Good lad, what's he doing? And as you can see, they are literally loving the new enclosure. Absolutely beautiful, happy in there. They're going through their rocks up there. They probably should all, they're all going to head underneath there, if I'm honest with you. But them two there have gone there, up there to have a explore. Absolutely beautiful little beetles. These are quite a big beetle as well. But they are really are worth keeping if you keep them. any sort of beetle. These are the worth getting because they're quite big and solid little creatures. And amazing little hunters. Again, they do have a, a quite nasty bite on them. But to be honest, that's all you've got to worry about is the bite. They haven't got no venom, no other problem, just the bite. What's going to work? Unlike the next animal we're going to be playing with, or well, playing with, hate that word, the next animal's enclosure we're going to be doing up, should I say. They've got more of a, a nastier bite than these. <sighs> wow, you look good in there, mate. Absolutely pretty cool. And these 
beetles are fascinating. Again, they are for sale on the website at invetnation.co.uk. Absolutely beautiful little beetles. So let's move on to the next enclosure. Okay guys, that was a really, really quick video on doing the beetles enclosures up. Again, I've only just done one video, uh, one of the enclosures up with one video for today. The next video will be for tomorrow. Again, it's just to make it to break up more of the videos. Um, I am going to be adding a bit more stuff to this enclosure, so make sure you follow me on Instagram at JP's Pet Nation and Facebook at JP's Pet Nation to stay updated with all the things that are happening. Every update will go on there straight away and pictures of new videos and just pretty much my life goes on there from here. So it's good to follow me on social media. All right, guys, with all that said, I promise you'll see you in the next video tomorrow at 2 p.m. And that's where we're doing the assassin enclosure. It's going to be fun. And that's going to be a lot harder than this because these assassins have got a horrible bite and I don't want to be stung by them. Let's go. See you, bye.